good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well this morning. Damn, a fly is in your view, y'all. I don't know what's up with that. <sighs> anyway, I hope you're doing well today. <clears throat> this is going to be the, the daily message. Girl, how do you want to start this today? Let's see what Tarot Energy is working. Use the red deck. Alrighty. What's working today, Spirit? How are you working in our lives today? May I see, please? The Hermit came out in reverse. Ooh, and a tower on the bottom of the deck. So... The Hermit is about soul searching, going within, looking deep at things. Yeah, on the surface of something, it looks like. Or you might just, I don't know, your, your whole, um, everything's coming out in reverse. But let's see. All right, if the Hermit is what's working, what's the energy to overcome? Let's see if everything, okay. All right, your High Priestess came out upright. So, your intuition is the energy to overcome for some reason. I've seen this happen before. We have a Virgo here. We have a Pisces. And then hope on the bottom of the deck, cutting at the Empress. What's going to pull this together? You might be having a piece of fruit for breakfast. Somebody plays chess here. Damn it, there's a lot of cards here. All right, it's going to take a lot to pull this together. Let me tell you what we've got going on here. There's a hermit. So it's like, I'm not going to look at this real real deep. I just, I don't want to deal with this right now. It's like, I'm not going there. I'm not going that deep. <laughs> it ain't all about that. That's what's working, is you're not looking at something deeply enough. What's not working is this high priestess energy your intuition it's like your intuition is here but you're not using it that's what it's saying to me but get this now we have the high priestess here we have the high priest here in the reverse so it's like what's going to pull it together is <laughs> somebody else's intuition that's not working having faith and not being stuck. It's like the hangman is here. I have the high priest, faith, the hangman in reverse, and then hope. So it's like by not using your intuition, <laughs> like maybe this is your same intuition, by not using it, you're coming out of some kind of stuck place you've been. This is the weirdest reading ever. It's like you have a very strong intuition, but you don't want to use it. You don't want to look very deeply at things. You want to stay on the surface here. I don't know. I'm honestly going to say I don't know. <laughs> Until I pull more cards on it. Spirit, can you give me some guidance in what direction you're going at in this escape room? This is you trying to escape for sure. Get comfy, close your eyes, and visualize your home. Spend some time thinking about the space and how you know it so well. As you are seeing all of the familiarities, notice a door somewhere that you've not seen before. Walk over to the door and open it. Behind the door is a space that you didn't know existed. Feel the surprise that this room has been there all along and you had no idea. Walk around the room and inspect it. Be in awe of how beautiful the interior is. Notice all the details, color schemes, furnishings, and feel how incredible the energy is in this space. Spend some time here and soak it up. And know that you can pop back to this room anytime you like. So, it's like you need a break from your own intuition is what it looks like to me. 
Like you might be somebody who has such a strong intuition that you get exhausted with your own self. I know I get that way sometimes. Like I have to just cut it off. And just be like, I'm going to take a day and just not think about anything too deeply. And that's kind of like what I see going on here. But for some reason, temperance is in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what kind of... Oh, that fly is driving me crazy. Virtue spirit. You've got a lot going on, whoever you are. You're having integrity. Peace. Kindness. Love. Honesty. Gentleness. You've got a lot going on. You're a very gifted spiritually person. For some reason, your love is in reverse, and I'm going to leave it that way because that might be part of the message. And you're also um, somebody who serves in your persevering, not giving up. All right, you got a lot of shit with you. I can tell you that right now. All right, Spirit, talk to us about how we need to heal. What do we need to heal? Discover your life purpose. And I can see why that is the only card that came out for you. Because you've got so much going on. And then you have take off your mask. So somehow you're pretending. There's somebody that's a dancer or a ballerina. Alright, I want to pull some cards to find out how spirit's working in various places in our lives today. All right, Spirit, how are you working in this person's home life? White lilies are here. I, I definitely see it, a piece of fruit. I am flexible and flowing. And so at home, you're just, you're, you're giving, you're giving, at home, you're just chill. You're flexible. You're not rigid. You're not insisting on things be a certain way. You're just flowing, going with, going with the flow. That's what I'm trying to think of. Work or work life? Working or work life? I release all fears and doubts. So for work, maybe you're looking for a job or maybe something's going on at work and you've been worried that you're going to lose your job. It's like, I'm going to release my fears and doubts when it comes to work. Or maybe spirits just working in your life obviously in your life I'm just not gonna worry about it I'm not gonna and that's what I see here it's like I'm just gonna take a day off from my thinking I'm not gonna use my intuition even though it's a strong intuition that you have and this is gonna help you to just come unstuck voila <laughs> in a situation where you've been very stuck all right surprises that life supports you, and I love my body. <laughs> Ooh. So for some reason, you're going to be surprised that you love your body. There's something about your body that you don't love, but today you're going to love yourself, and you're going to know that life supports you. So maybe that's something that you've questioned. I see you are letting go of some fears and doubts. All right. Love life. How is the spirit working in your love life? I see it's upside down. Somebody's name could be John. Spirit, can I get good strong answers on, please? That was fun. Oh, I trust the process of life. So in your love life, you're trusting the process. <laughs> okay, all right. And what's our role today, spirit? What would you like us to do today? I love life. Spirit wants you to love life. That's what your role is today. There's something maybe about your life that you don't love. Somebody has red bedroom slippers and like a red and flower shirt that you wear over like leggings. You might wear this to bed. You have a head headband around your head. You may even have some braids in your hair today. It looks like you're going to water some plants. It looks like you like to do gardening. And maybe you have planted some things. All right, and what might be the outcome of today, Spirit? You're going to see something with clarity. And my life works beautifully. 
And that's what I see here is it's like, I don't want to really look at this, but by not looking at this, it's like, I think you've been trying too hard and it's finally going to come to you if once you stop trying so hard. It's only a thought and a thought can be changed. I don't know if that helped a whole lot, but I did get a little bit out of it. All right, let's see how Spirit's working in your home life. How are we working in our home life today, Spirit? Spirit is getting just like, oh, baby. Psychic abilities. Psychic abilities. You see right here? You have them, but you're not using them. And at home, this is what's happening. Spirit's helping you with your psychic abilities. And also to have forgiveness in a commitment. Your psychic abilities, forgiveness, and commitment. That's how, how Spirit's working in your own life. Alright, work life. Spirit's working in your family, releasing fears and doubts. There's bats. I see bats. <clears throat> All right, surprises today, Spirit. Today, the surprise is going to be boundaries. Boundaries. I love my body and life supports me. You're going to set boundaries, surprisingly. All right. Love life. How are we working in our love life spirit? Your love life is interesting. First of all, it doesn't look like you're in a love relationship. You're trusting the process of life. Your love life, you have a spirit guide. Your life purpose, happiness, and your willpower. All right, our role today, Spirit, you're going to have protection. Our role is to know that we are protected and that we love life. Love life and bad protection. Somebody here is having a pregnancy that might be difficult. All right, and outcome, outcome of today. You're going to get answers about something. You remember I said you were going to have clarity? You're going to get answers. Spirit's going to give you answers. And I see that you're not really trying to get these answers. <laughs> and it could be about a career. That might be your answers. You might find out about a job today. That's what's on the bottom of the deck. Or tomorrow. Or sometime in the next week. Oh, damn flies. All right, so I want to find out more about this tarot, and I'm going to use what I haven't used in a while. I'm going to use the Heaven and Earth tarot. It's, it's a regular tarot deck. It's just different. Beautiful, actually. Cutting at the devil and strength. All right, Spirit, talk to me about this hermit. Why is the hermit here in reverse? May I see, please? Because of a princess of wands. A princess of wands. This is a young energy. It's a young feminine This person is pissed off. I'm going to show you why I say that. Look at this picture. She's got a goat's head that's on fire, first of all. She's defensive. 
it's like she's defending something. This is an energy of fire. It's passion. It's something that you're passionate about, but you're not wanting to look at it real deeply right now. We're going to call this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius at this point. Sagittarius is here for sure. This could definitely be like a Knight of Wands type energy, but feminine. Okay. All right. Why is the High Priestess here? This High Priestess is the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Swords upright, the Ten of Wands upright, and the Queen of Pentacles upright. So what the energy to overcome, there's a very loving, nurturing, motherly type feel to this. It's something that you're very passionate about, but you've lost your interest. It's like, I have no interest in this anymore. I've lost interest. I finally see the truth, and I'm ending this. I'm, I'm putting this to rest. This has been too much of a burden. This has been a very big burden. The truth has finally come out about the situation, and you don't... You don't, you don't have to worry about this anymore. It's like, I'm finally able to just let this go. Totally let this go. You've been through some shit now with it. You've been through some shit with it. So, over here, we see somebody who is ready to burn shit and just pissed looking. I mean, like, defensive. But then here, it's like... The Ace of Wands is usually a card of inspiration. It's a gift of inspiration. But it's like you've lost your interest in this. You've lost interest. You have the truth. You're seeing the truth. You're, you're able to see exactly what the truth is. And it's like, this has been some heavy shit that I've had to carry around with me. Why have I carried this around for so long? All right, why is the High Priest in reverse? Because of the High Priestess upright and the Eight of Wands. <laughs> you have a lot going on with your intuition right now. You have, I would say you are probably one of the most gifted people I've ever read. I mean, we have the High Priestess, we have the High Priest, we have the High Priestess. You're seeing something for real, for real. Like, you're probably having visions. You're getting some downloads from Spirit about something. It's like you don't want to have them. It's like you're trying not to have them. All right. Why is faith here? This is what your faith. It's like you're getting a lot of downloads very fast from spirit. And it's overloading your you need you need to escape from this. This is about the four of pentacles and the nine of wands. But they came out in reverse. The Nine of Wands is something that takes a lot of effort. A lot You have to defend your place. Like, you have to defend your position here. And it's about having power financially, earthly financial. You've got... What is going on here, Spirit? I'm not sure I understand that. But it's about your willpower. It's about you using your willpower to not see something. All right, and why is hope here? There's something that your spirit's showing you that you don't want to see because of the King of Wands. There's hope for this King of Wands. This is a very charismatic, 
getting shit done king. So we have a queen of pentacles who is usually a Capricorn Virgo Taurus and then we have an Aries Leo Sagittarius again. I think this is a Sagittarius and it's like I have to let this go. Even though I have a position, I'm in a position, you have the secret book of knowledge. You possess the book with the secrets. You are the book. All right, why is temperance on the bottom of the deck? Because of the two of pentacles. Harmonious change. This is like you trying to work things out with somebody about something. Balance your life out. To get balance in your life. I'm going to say that this is way above my pay grade. And then we have the king of swords on the bottom of the deck. You're trying not to see something, but Spirit's trying to show you. And so you're you're not going to have a choice but to see this because Spirit is saying you're going to see this <laughs> whether you want to see it or not. And it's about discovering your life purpose and taking off your mask. You had a lot of gifts, a lot of gifts. <laughs> All right, show me how you're working in this person's home life spirit. Nourishing, self-harmony, soul growth, and comfort. Spirit's trying to help you to be nourished. Okay? You might be planning on going swimming today. All right, work life spirit. Somehow you're avoiding, this is the problem right here. You're avoiding something, and I see that here. That, but I can't articulate it the way I see it. It has to do with releasing fear and doubt when it comes to your family. You're blocking, escaping, and pushing something away. You're avoiding seeing something about your work life. All right, surprises. You're going to purify yourself, purge, heal, clean your energy. So there's a need for you to purify. You, you're, I think having to set boundaries psychically, energetically, because somehow you're picking up the energy of others and absorbing it. And there's something that you're going to love about your body today, and life supports me. So for some reason, you don't love your body. But today you're going to. I don't know. I uh, and love life. This this is where you've had a loss. You don't want to have to clash with somebody. You you're having differences, incompatibility, and conflict, and you've had grief, sorrow, and pain in your love life. This is where your pain is coming from, and this is what you're trying to avoid. But you have protection here. I. Uh, what is our role? Oh my goodness. You're going to be in despair and be apprehensive because of something unspoken. Your role is to be in despair and to be guarded, cautious, and afraid because of regret, lost words, and disappointment. You're disappointed about something. And this is causing you despair. And it's somebody you lost in your life. And you're crying about this. You're avoiding this. You're not in a good headspace right now. What's going to be the outcome? Damn. Heart fog, frozen, and upheaval. Mixed signals, blocked emotions, and clutter. Being frozen, silent, still, and having no words. Shock, the unexpected, and trouble. You've got something going on. Major something going on. And there's an apology also on the bottom of the deck. Jam. Why 
are they avoiding something? It's something you've been hoping for, waiting and expecting. Clarify what you mean by hoping. It's divine feminine. This is divine feminine. You've been avoiding and hoping. Why are they purifying? Because somebody's longing, aching, pining. Uh, what what if they lost here in their love life? It had something to do with the beginning, a new direction, a fresh start, and having a chance. So you were supposed to have a chance, and you didn't get it. What's what's? I want to know what's unspoken. The chase is on the bottom of the deck. Talk to me, spirit, about what's unspoken here. What's not spoken? I reread all of our text messages over and over again, and I act like I don't care, but I do. So somebody that does care about you is not telling you that. They're, they're being guarded, apprehensive, and it's causing despair. Damn, you drive me crazy. <sighs> All right, what would this person say to you that's not spoken? What would they say if they could? Do I still have a chance and I want to make amends? So this person wants to know if they still have a chance because they want to make amends. You inspire me. Well, what would you say to that? You would say, I miss hearing your voice. And I don't want to let you go. So I would say, yeah, you do have a chance. I feel like I can be myself with you. You're not using your intuition. Okay, the energy to overcome is your intuition. And what's going to pull it together is that you're not using your intuition. This makes no fucking sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. All right, let's try this. Since I'm not catching everything. Show me how this happens, Spirit. Just walk away. It's time to talk money. And keep that shit to yourself. So, oh, and here's another one. You're fucking stressed. So, somebody just walked away. Because it was time to talk money. And they didn't want to talk about it. They wanted to keep it to themselves. Maybe they wanted to keep the money to themselves. And now you're stressed because something wasn't discussed. All right, what's being hidden? That love can hurt like hell. And what's being shown? Deal with your drama. Deal with your ex's old hurts and unresolved shit. So somebody just walked away because it was time to talk money and they wanted to keep that shit to themselves. Now you're fucking stressed about it. Love can hurt like hell. Why does love hurt like hell? It's a lot of cards. Don't let it all hang out. It's not that serious. You're not being her. Love the one you're with and you're hot, smart. You have a great ass. That's why it can hurt like hell. And what's the drama you need to deal with? Clarify the drama that you need to deal with. You're giving too many fucks and fucking say it. So there's this thing that's not been said, okay? <laughs> And it needs to be said. Alright, well, what's going to happen next? If somebody's not saying something, you think you have them all figured out, but you don't. There's so many cards here. Your friends miss your face. You can't say thank you enough. Check yourself. Family shit's getting on your nerves and interrupting us for assholes. Have sex. Do you really need a card for this? And they're still waiting. You got a lot of shit going on. That's all I can tell you. This is like way too motherfucking much drama. If I had all this drama going on, I probably wouldn't want to use my intuition either. 
Spirit, how can you help me? Because I feel like I'm freaking lost here. Let's see what you need to surrender. What needs to be surrendered here, Spirit, for home life? Oh, that came out with force. Surrender to your creativity. Spirit wants you to get creative. And wonder and awe. It has to do with forgiveness and a commitment. Being nourished. You have a lot going on. All right, work life. What needs to be surrendered in a work life? Non-action. You need to always be right. Surrender to joy. Inner peace. And some outdated beliefs about yourself. All right, surprises that need to be surrendered. <laughs> it might be a surprise to you, but it's not to me. You're comparing yourself to others. You have resentments. You're surrendering the drama. <laughs> Surrender to your intuition. You're frustrated and you have a lot of stress. All right, you're fucking stressed. <laughs> you're fucking stressed. All right, love life. Surrender fear. Set some limits, surrender your denial, and surrender to divine timing. All right, our role, stop worrying, let go of your ego, and get some rest. And then the outcome, surrender to spirit, and don't be defensive. Remember somebody was being defensive. And get outside and get grounded. Good. Definitely do that, for real, for real, for real, for real. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what you're having going on here, but it's it's definitely something to do with your family. How can I help, Spirit? Because I don't feel like I know what the hell is going on here. All right, show me how this happened. That Ace of Wands in reverse and a third party. <laughs> All right. Talk to me about this Ace of Wands in reverse because the Ace of Wands is usually about a spark of inspiration from the divine. When it's in reverse, it's like you've lost interest in something. You've lost interest in a third party is what it looks like to me. All right, what's being hidden? You have doubts. You have lack and doubt, but you're taking care of yourself. Maybe you have, maybe you doubt that you can take care of yourself. And yeah, it looks like you've lost hope. This Ace of Wands is like, when it's upright, it's an inspiration. Like, when it's in reverse, you've lost hope. Maybe you've lost hope. In a third party. What's being hidden is lack, doubt, and taking care of yourself. I don't think you, I don't think you feel you can take care of yourself. All right, and what's being shown? That you have fears and limitations, and you're getting messages in your dreams. And what's going to happen next? You're going to spy. <laughs> you're going to have an epiphany and a breakthrough, and you're going to have a transformation. Well, that's good. What's the transformation, Spirit? It's about being detached and cold and being at a distance. Why have they lost interest in this third party? Because you don't have any self-worth. This person takes away all or this thing, whatever this is, it sucks the life out of you. Why are they getting, why are they detached and cold? Because of a detour, a divine detour, a lot of memories and rejection. What would you suggest they do about being detached and cold? You're in your comfort zone. You need to get stable. And there needs to be an apology. So you've hurt somebody or somebody's hurt you. And you're not looking at this deeply. Because I think you do realize that you've hurt somebody. And there's a lack of growth this summer. Uh, show me how... How did this happen? 
whoever you are, you have a lot of shit going on. You were being... Oh, wow. All right. There was communication about change, about reinventing, doing, doing something different. You had communication, and it was like, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to be real creative, and I'm going to end something. But this was deception. So you had communication about being reinvented and being inspired to end something. Clarify what they were inspired to end. You were mirroring, you needed to have forgiveness, and you were going to return for a union. they going to have union with somebody that was a victim. Somebody had become a victim here. You're having to forgive yourself, I think, for some shit that happened. All right, what's being hidden is seeing signs. What do you mean seeing signs of a metamorphosis in divine feminine? So this person, you're seeing signs that they're changing. All right, and what's being shown What's being shown? <laughs> Spirit. That somebody is unawakened and needs to do some shadow work. And what's going to happen next? You're not going to talk to somebody. You're not going to listen. You're going to be mute because the answer is no and you need to refocus. I feel lost here. What am I missing? You're an observer and you're going to compromise. You're just going to watch for now and compromise because it's your free will. You may be this divine feminine, but I have a feeling that you're not this divine feminine. I think you're seeing signs that this person is changing. Oh, show me more, Spirit, about how this happened. Whoever you are, you need a fucking private reading. Tell me more about how this happened. Somebody is making moves in silence and fantasizing. I'm making moves in silence. I don't want anyone to ruin my plan. And I can't stop my mind from escaping to the world only you and I know. Alright. What's being hidden? Only you desire to win and overthinking. So you're obsessed with somebody and you have a desire to win. I'm going to win. I'll look better, I'll do better, and I'll get someone hotter. <laughs> and you're overthinking. I'm driving myself crazy. And I see that is why you're using your intuition but not using your intuition. Because you have a very strong intuition, and it's almost like, I'll go fucking crazy. You, only you. I'm not seeing anyone else, if that's what you're wondering. You're worrying yourself to death about whether or not this person has somebody else. Alright, and what's being shown? That somebody is divinely guided. And what's going to happen next? <clears throat> you're fighting it. You're haunted. And it's not the right time. <laughs> Bless your heart. You're fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. And it's just not the right time. What is divinely guided here about? Clarify divinely guided as what's being shown. Somebody is desperate. They're having an epiphany. They can't be trusted, and their love is dying. So maybe that's what you think is happening, is that this person doesn't care about you anymore, and that they have somebody new. In fact, I think that's exactly what's going on. All right, so you're driving yourself crazy wondering if they have somebody new. Let's see. 
What's the tea on having somebody new? Somebody's a player. Somebody's a workaholic. They're materialistic. And there's a date. Clarify the date. Somebody had a love affair. But right now they're separated. And they're looking for somebody. But they've been blocked, ghosted, or ignored. So it looks like they did have somebody at work. But they're not with them anymore. And they've been blocked and ghosted or ignored. If that helps. <laughs> Alright. Clarify what they're looking for. Somebody that was dominant and manipulative. They detached. And were stigmatized. And they weren't returning their love. That's why they're a victim. You remember I said somebody felt like a victim? They, were, they, were, they weren't returned. Like, I think they went out with this person because they thought this person had money. And they worked a lot. Maybe they worked together and they thought this person had something. So they went out with them. And yeah, it was a good thing. You know, they got, they got fucked good, <laughs> and then they got blocked because this person became manipulative and dominant, and, like, they just wanted to have a one-night stand. They didn't want to have a relationship. That's what it looks like to me, if that helps. I mean, you got a lot going on, man. I don't even know how to help you. You've got so much going on. I want to look at the Tarot again with a different deck. Why is the Hermit here? Because of the losses. What you're not wanting to look at real deeply is something that you're grieving a breakup over. You have had a relationship end. And now somebody wants to make a romantic proposal. And they want... They want this bad. Something ended and it was a very painful breakup. But somebody has a romantic gesture and they are showing up as a knight of wands. They, they want to have sex and be, they're in love and they want to have sex. All right, why is the high priestess here? This fucking ace of wands again in reverse. That's the third time you've gotten the ace of wands in reverse. And this is where I'm missing something. Ace of Wands. When the Ace of Wands reverses, it can show blocks to creative projects and delays to travel. In work, a project may be abandoned or postponed due to poor management. In general, the card reveals a false start, plans that you need to rethink. In relationships, this Ace can reveal a lack of commitment from a man or t time apart for a couple, usually due to work, and the woman finds herself waiting for the man. Another common meaning of the reversed Ace of Wands in readings is difficulty conceiving a child, particularly if the card appears close to the Three of Swords. The card, sorry. And that's not what it's close to. It's close to you wanting to fuck somebody that you're in love with. <laughs> <laughs> and not being able to. So it's like you want to make a move on this person and can't. That's what it looks like to me. And you're afraid that they're going to find somebody else. All right, why is the high priest in reverse? Because of judgment, the four of swords, the eight of pentacles, and ghosting in reverse. Because you... I think you realize that this person is getting over this relationship. I think you realize that this person is getting over this. All right, and why is faith here? Because of a karmic partner, a page of cups, a ten of cups in reverse, and a karmic partner. So it's like an apology for disappointment with a karmic partner. Alright, why is the hangman in reverse? 
there's that four of pentacles again. Because somebody is trying to hold on to this. Clarify what they're trying to hold on to. I mean, Spirit keeps giving me the same cards. I just don't know that I'm interpreting them right. There you are being defensive. Not being defensive. The Two of Pentacles, Justice, and the Magician in Reverse. So it's like, the hope is, is that this juggling <laughs> that's been going on, somebody's been juggling. There's going to be justice for juggling. You've been juggling two people. <clears throat> Clarify the manipulation. What's the outcome of this manipulation? You learned a lesson about juggling, didn't you? Awakening in reverse, the wheel in reverse, the moon in reverse, the five of pentacles in reverse, and learning a lesson. So this is about somebody getting left out. Cancer's here, the wheel is here, and awakening. So somebody, you're awakening to the fact that you've left somebody out and you're going to have lessons. <laughs> You're going to have to learn lessons here. And uh, I think the person you left out, now you desire them real bad and can't have them. Why is temperance here? Because of an ace of cups in reverse. This is what you're soul searching about or what you refuse to soul search about here is somebody new. But it's like you've lost somebody you really love because of a third party and juggling. You've lost somebody that you really cared about. And there's about to be a tower. Now, if you're fixing to you realize this, show me how this person feels about the collective, the one that they think they've lost. How do they feel? They don't know. They haven't decided how they feel. They're still reevaluating it to decide if there's hope or not. They haven't decided if this can go the distance. All right, talk to me about the person that they're juggling them with. You have a commitment, control, and differences. So the person that you're with, that you we're juggling this other person with you're you're in a commitment you're married and i'm trying to control the situation to avoid having it control me and you're having differences maybe we're just too different to make this relationship work so you're in a marriage with somebody that you don't really oh and you left somebody else out to go to this be with this person And now you're, you think you've lost this one that you really do desire. What's the truth about the one they really desire? It's a friendship that's moved on. They're letting you go now so you can both move on. And somebody's not changing. I am who I am. Not who you want me to be. I'm not going to change. So they, they moved on because you were willing, not willing to change. It was a friendship and they moved on. And now that now you have to have forgiveness. And it looks like they're going to have a new love or they might just be single. They haven't decided yet. That's what's going on here. All right, spirit. Messages out of here. How did this happen? Somebody set boundaries. What's being hidden? There's chemistry and trust. All right, what's being shown? That you're on different pages, but it's protected and you need to have integrity. And what's going to happen next? You're going to have vulnerability and regret. You're going to regret that there was something that was strictly sexual. What else is going to happen next? Warning, soulmate, children, and addiction. There's obstacles. 
What's going to happen with the person that's their friend? There's an obsession. We see that. And you need to take a leap of faith. Clarify the leap. Oh. So you need to take a leap of faith, but first you need to wait. Spirit so says, wait. You need to make a decision, okay, to take a leap of faith. And then be patient, because it's not time for you to do that yet. Right now, you need to apologize for leaving this person out and going after a relationship with a karmic partner who you're not even getting along with. The outcome if they take that advice. You will learn a spiritual lesson. You'll have obstacles to this marriage. And you'll have time apart and be released from it. What am I missing? <laughs> that somebody's mastered this lesson and now they're unavailable. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> you heard what I said. I'm not repeating it. That's what's going on here. And you have to live with this because this is the decision you made and it is what it is. What would this person that you're afraid you've lost but don't want to lose, what would they say to you? How are you? We haven't talked in forever. And, oh, fuck. Why, Lord, help me. I can't send this. <laughs> and damn, you drive me crazy. What would you say to them? Tell me again why you're single. Is the grass greener? I wish I was there with you. I'm in a relationship, but I'm feeling you. I don't even like to text, but I'll text you all day long. And I can't love you the way I want. Poor thing. <laughs> all right, angels, how are you helping? Manifestation and unity. Music, vision, Creative power, truth, and nature. With harmony on the bottom of the deck. So, what you're going to have to do is apologize and accept that you chose to be with a karmic partner and now you're not getting along with that person, it doesn't look like. And the person that you left out, it looks like they're not sure what they want to do right now. But they are considering a new relationship. I'm not going to lie to you. They are. They haven't decided that, though, for sure. I mean, I don't know what else to say to you. You made a choice, and now you have to live with that choice. I guess. I don't even know what else to ask. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> God is playing spirit. Am I on the right path? Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are on the right path at all. Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today's soul action. Search for all the ways you're aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. And... What am I grateful for right now? Adopt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all of our problems. It's impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our state. Today's soul action. The universal law of attraction says we attract into our lives that on which we are focused. Close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and 
think of three things for which you are grateful for today. Notice the abundance growing within you. And that's the thing. If you're constantly focused on this person finding somebody new and losing this person, guess what you're going to get? You have to be grateful for what you have. And it looks like it's a friend that decided to move on because you left one on hold. Just saying. <coughs> and I can't say that I blame them. All right. Earth Goddess, Hero, Queen of Hearts, and Peacock Priestess. Earth Goddess, number 44. To live the dream, we have to surrender the fantasy. This can be painful. It feels like the end when, in fact, it's the beginning. Once the pain passes, there's the joy of what we have yearned for coming to life. It may not be as perfect as the fantasy, but it will be real, and it can nourish us. Remember, nourish. We can build our appetites for life with dreams, but we cannot be fed by them. The soul requires real-life experience to become fully alive, to have experiences and grow. There is a fantasy that wants to become reality for you. Don't let a few gritty moments of human imperfection prevent you from experiencing the joy of heaven on earth. And then 15, Hero. Believe that you are worthy of an amazing life. You don't need to feel guilty or hold yourself back to make anyone else feel comfortable. You don't need to be timid or uncertain, worrying that you are becoming too much for someone else or asking too much from the universe. Living a great life is not about competition with anyone else. Living a great life helps inspire others to do the same. It doesn't take anything away from anyone else. If your dreams both excite and scare you, that's a good thing. Give yourself permission to go for it. Go after what you want with a happy heart. And then Queen of Hearts, number 32. Your heart has been chosen by the divine to be a temple for spiritual light, an inner place where grace and healing can dwell. This is very special. A temple is kept clean and pure, scented with sacred perfumes of incense, made beautiful with our feelings of reverence and love for the spirit, kept uncluttered and spacious so that as much spiritual presence as possible can enter. When spirit enters and fills the temple of the heart, things of extraordinary beauty take place. Even the apparently impossible become possible. Clear your heart temple with forgiveness, gratitude, and love for the spirit so it can fill its, fulfill its divine destiny of being a sacred channel for beautiful divine grace. And then number 24, Peacock Priestess. If you feel impatient for something to happen or worry that you are not accomplishing all that you want to achieve quickly enough, then take heart. The universe is working with you, not against you, to bring your dreams to life. Even times when not much seems to be happening are a part of the creative process, balancing out other times when energy becomes active and intense. What will be most helpful for you in your dreams right now is rest. During that pleasurable rest behind the scenes, some spiritual magic is going to be created. And we saw that you needed to get some rest as your outcome. So, <clears throat> I wish I could tell you that this is, you know, that this person is not going to move on. But that is not what is showing up. What is showing up is that you left them out in the cold for a karmic partner, and they're not sure what they want to do yet. That's what's showing up. But, I think communication with this person would help the situation. I mean, I'm just saying, you do what you want to do, but that's what I see. Alright, who are you talking to? G F W B T A P. 
R K M M E T X. C M V P K D K. S A M Sam Pam P T M W. Two M's. J R N P V H H. M A B L D H V. One more time. D V F L D W T. So two D's that time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every journey starts with a single step. An angel. What is for you will not pass you by. I have the letter U. A shell, maybe your name is Shell. A cowboy boot in a horseshoe. Your name could be cowboy. Me versus me. A four leaf clover. A dream catcher. The word love. The word love again. Another four leaf clover. A peace sign. A fancy ball. A mustang. A seahorse. A bee. So there could be something legal here. A star, a star, a fish. You could be dealing with the Pisces. I choose strength, and she believes she could, so she did. And you do need a private reading because there was a lot of messages coming out, and I couldn't keep up with them all. I'm only human, and I'm only one person. A piece of crystal, a big old key, a light bulb, two marbles. A heart in German, a feather, and a cross. And I charge for private readings. So, but if you want one, you can reach out to me and we can set that up. I charge $50 for private reading. And that's for unlimited questions. And you definitely have a lot of questions because you were trying to get a lot more answers than I could keep up with. But I did get that that Ace of Wands was in reverse like three times, which means... You're not able to have what you want right now, is what it looks like to me. And it's because you chose a third party, a karmic partner, and you left a friend out in the cold. All right, I guess that's going to be it for today. I'll be back later with, um, I'm going to go through the signs again. So maybe some more clarity will come <laughs> after I watch this. But this was a huge reading. A lot of details that I couldn't keep up with and if you need more clarity you'll have to do something private have a great day bye bye